morning everybody and welcome back to Golden Sphere Realty Channel. We are currently stationed in Tagaytay Highlands, home to some of Asia's top class amenities, with access to the beautiful view of Ta'al Lake and the other natural terrains this place has to offer. There's a sense of leisure that comes with visiting Tagaytay on the weekends, making it Manila's epicenter for relaxation and rejuvenation and getting away from the everyday chaos of city life. I'm Annika C, and today I am super stoked to be showing you guys around this Woodlands Estate, located in 32A Pine Circle. Let's get started. Starting off our journey in the Rustic Retreat Strong, we are here in this gorgeous patio that's approximately 66 square meters in size. Right off the bat, you can see that the homeowners treated this space for different purposes. This dining area allows you to host dinner or picnic parties. There's also a supplementary barbecue pit grill, which is great for having friends over and cooking up burgers and steaks and beers. Walking over here, there's also a cute restful lounge area and that allows you to truly bask in the ambience of your surroundings while still being in the comforts of your home. There's also a provision that's available where you can install a swing set or porch if you want to. And yeah, in general, what's great about this is how spacious and wide it is so you can really treat this space however you want to. Now let's get into the good stuff and go inside the house. So we're getting our first glimpse into the interiors of the house and I want to take you guys into the first part which is the informal living area. So this is approximately 36 square meters in size and my favorite feature of this space is the synthetic fireplace which adorns the informal living area with this extra element of coziness and that complements perfectly with all the leather finished furniture in the space. So you'll notice this leather tufted sofa from Fernitalia and how that balances beautifully with these two brown leather accented lounge chairs. So moving forward, before I get into the next part of the home, I want to take this opportunity to highlight these beautiful Clara Story windows that are a main element of cabin style architecture in general. So Clara Story windows provide an important functional benefit for cabin style homes simply because they maximize solar gain and allow for a more efficient distribution of light and heat in unenclosed spaces such as this. So it's really something important to take note of and the geometric shape of it adds a lot of personality to the space in general. So let's move forward to the kitchen which I do have a huge affinity for. So now entering this really charming and quaint kitchen area, I like to describe it as family size. It's perfect for a group of four to five to meal prep together, create a meal. There's a very generous and spacious meal prepping countertop area with a granite finishing. But my favorite part overall is the beautiful craftsmanship of the storage and shelf spaces of the kitchen. How the bare wood complements perfectly with the white tiling of the wall and all the color palettes going on is amazing, especially how it captures natural light from the outside. The main kitchen area is very easily accessible to this informal dining room area, which is adorned with this beautiful hexagonal table with an ashwood finish. It's perfect to have your coffee in the morning, have breakfast with family and friends, or even do work throughout the day and complements perfectly with these dining chairs that also have an ashwood finish, but have details of Salahia weaving. So what you'll notice consistently throughout the home is a lot of the furniture pieces have and integrate the Salahia weaving. I love that so much because it adds a lot of authenticity to the space. Not only does it have a nod to Philippine heritage, but that also is a unique twist given that the design of this cabin style architecture in general draws heavy inspiration from Western cultures. So let's move on to the main dining room area. Entering the main dining room area, we are greeted with these two beautiful picture frame windows, which have aluminum glass sliding frames. The great benefit of having windows this big is that it allows for a lot of natural light to enter, which is amazing when enjoying a meal during the daytime with family or friends. 
Another thing about picture windows is that it's a very common trait in cabin style homes simply because it reinforces the entire purpose of making the homeowners or residents feel assimilated with their natural surroundings. So going off of that, let's get into the beautiful furniture of the main dining area. This dining table is made out of teak wood, known as hardwood, and is multifunctional because it can be used both for the indoors and outdoors. There's an angular chandelier that's made completely out of resin, and also it's accented perfectly by these dining room chairs that have an amazing light brown fabric finish. In size, the main dining area is quite small, being only 57.45 square meters. But what makes it feel super spacious is the open ventilation system that's supported by the extremely high ceilings. So you'll see that a lot within the house. Welcome to my favorite part of the house, which is the main living and TV area. So this is the most spacious part of the house, which is supported by it having the biggest aluminum glass frame panels. And according to the original homeowners, that's something very unique to cabin style homes in this subdivision particularly. Additionally, another fun fact is that this did not exist at all. Prior to the renovation of the house, the homeowners were able to knock down a wall and build this entire extension, which adds a lot of depth and character to this rustic retreat place. But for me in particular, I really think that the true value in all of this, especially with it being a living area, is how it promotes this collective custom. Not only is it a perfect place to have movie nights or bond with family, game nights or whatever, but it's really where all the living happens. And if you notice in the house specifically, there are no physical barriers that separate any part of the home. And so it really forces people to interact and spend time together authentically, which is kind of hard to do when you're living in the city and have so much going on in a day. bedroom of the house, I just want to preface it with talking more about the details of the space. So this is a two-story residency with three bedrooms, all with accompanying bathrooms. The floor area is approximately 376 square meters. And you'll notice that in the ceilings and walls, the primary mode of material being used is full and half logs of pine, but the flooring is all walnut. So what the original homeowner decided to do, considering there's different textures being used in the construction of the house, different shades of brown, in order to make it a little more visually pleasing and balanced, they support this structure with white popcorn textured cement walls. So yeah, adds a lot of great character to the house. And let's get into the first bedroom. So welcome to the first bedroom of the house. We like to call this the queen size room. In fact, every single room in this house actually follows the same format. So you'll find that a lot of the furniture pieces are coated with an ash wood finish. There's the solahia detailing that's recurrent in different parts of the furniture. And you'll notice that when you walk through the bathroom, every single bathroom has built-in closets that are fixed to the wall. What's great and very convenient about this space is that it's perfect for any elderly relatives you might have or guests being that it's on the ground floor and closest to the main entrance and also perfect for any early risers. So yeah, just get a good look around the room. Oh, and one thing I do want to highlight is this lamp that is sourced from a local brand called Cora and it is beautiful. So let's get moving to the second floor. This back hallway where I am right now is where the extra amenities and facilities of the house are located. For instance, the staff room is located here with its own independent powder room as well as the guest comfort room. Then moving forward, we have this storage space that I just want to point out as it's located right underneath the, stair the staircase. This is perfect for storing any miscellaneous items you might have, especially to relieve the hassle of traveling back and forth from the city if this is a retreat home and carrying a lot of things. So there you have it.
As we're approaching the second floor of the house, I want to take a moment here to pause and talk about the different sizes of pine logs. So as mentioned previously, the house is constructed of half and full logs of pine. This is an example of half pine logs, whereas the supportive pillar or the staircase is an example of a full pine log. Now, before we fully reach the top, I do want to just stop and admire this gorgeous scene that is given to us by the clerestory windows I mentioned in the beginning part of the tour. The way in which it brings sunlight and natural um, heat into the house makes it radiate with so much character. And yeah, it's just super beautiful. So that's awesome. And before going into anything further, let's dive into the junior master's bedroom, which is the second room of the house. Here we have the junior master's bedroom, which as I said previously, is the second bedroom of the house. It's much smaller in size than the first bedroom I showed you guys, but the main thing to note in terms of its difference is actually the finishing of the wood on the bed frame. Instead of it being ash wood, it, is, it has a black finish. The bathroom also holds the same elements as the previous bathroom you saw, but is much smaller in size as well. It still has the built-in closet to fix the wall, the mountain base sink fixtures, and more. So take a look around and enjoy. It also gives a lot of treehouse energy. It's something I love about this specific nook of the house. So let's move forward. So we've come down to our last and final main bedroom of the house. I like to call this the twin room because obviously there are two twin beds. This has the same ashwood finish on the bed frames as you saw in the first room. And it's very elongated in comparison to the other ones, which serve a more rectangular and square shape. This rustic retreat is a perfect getaway for families in general. This is great for siblings. The junior master's bedroom is great for any couples or for parents. The bottom floor is great for any elderlies. So it's very convenient and inviting to anybody. Now, here is the bathroom. Actually, this is my favorite bathroom. I'm not so sure why, but I think it's because of the asymmetrical height of the ceilings. That's something I admire a lot about this house in general is how the architectural style of it, it's not even at all. Adds a lot of character in my opinion. But you have the same, um, you have the same properties going on in this bathroom in comparison to the rest. The only difference is that it doesn't have the built-in closet that's fixed to the wall like the others. So. And now we finally come down to the last part of the second floor. This offers up a supplementary resting or reading nook. It's great for having your morning coffee and the space can also be used to do morning yoga or exercise with family and friends. But the true beauty of it all is this spot right here, which offers you a wonderful view of the entire house. Now finally, I'm going to be showing you guys the last few spots of the house and let's start off with the parking lot. Unfortunately, we are at the last stop of our tour. I'm standing in this rustic driveway that can house up to two cars. Have to cut it short there guys, but I had such a great time hosting you today. Hope you subscribe to our Golden Sphere Realty channel for more content on houses. And we have a lot of exciting stuff coming up for you. Thanks, see you soon.